Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a continuation of the pickup NA team battles. I believe on one side of this match we had Boa, Gypsy Striker, Jayun on one team. On the opposite side we have Crossy, Dragon, Sugo, and Machine. This match we have Dragon. I'm excited to see Dragon in a match because I have not seen him play as much as I've wanted to. You can check out his stream, by the way, at DragonBW. He will be the yellow Protoss. Upper left-hand corner, we have Gypsy starting as the orange Terran. You can catch his stream at Gypsy93. For whatever reason, I'm able to catch his stream more often than not. I think just because of how timing works out. Not sure. Anyway, Gypsy, he's got a really fun stream. He definitely has the Terran Rage. And it's kind of interesting because they feel like all Terrans have that Terran Rage, right? And the kind of flavor of it creates both strengths and weaknesses, as is the case with, I guess, with any player. So, for example, Artosis, he's, you know, honor, skill, hard work, which means he gets cheesed a lot, is what it comes down to. But that also means he, when he is cheesing, he has just really incredible cheese. And on top of that, he's pretty good at repelling a lot of the standard cheeses. He's just seen so many of the cheeses, right? For Gypsy, I think he is a precision player, and that is where his aggravation, that's where the Terran Rage sits with him. He's got, he wants that perfect game, I think. And you can see it in his play. He's very precise. Sometimes he's a little bit too hard on himself. I think he can end up being hard on other players as well. It's like, ah, this is trash. Things like that. You'll hear that a lot on stream. Looks like he's, by the way, planting a barracks down at the natural expansion. But what is fun to see when Gypsy's playing, first of all, when he's doing kind of just general talking about the match and talking about how he, or StarCraft at large, and how he loves StarCraft, it's very educational and really fun to listen to and very insightful, I think. But secondarily, he oftentimes will hit a state of flow, and when he's in that state of flow, he is, first of all, unstoppable, and second of all, it's just really fun to watch. Looks like he is going to get the initial scout off, by the way, and Dragon, unfortunately, is going to end up coming across Gypsy's base last. We are seeing a Zealot before Assimilator on Dragon's side of the match. But as a result, though, I think Gypsy, and that's kind of the positive, the strength, I think when, he's be when Gypsy's being the aggressor, he also has a lot more success, but also when things go slightly wrong for him, when he's having trouble putting down buildings because of the standard Terran problem of SCVs just not wanting to build stuff because they're lazy, I guess. I don't know what's going on with that, by the way. Uh, so front door seal-ish with that supply depot in position. The Zealot chasing around that SCV initially. Now it's making its way towards that front door. Bunker should be there in time with this first Marine. And that will box out actually both the Scout and the Zealot. And if it's not there, actually, the Marine can kind of dash in between there and should be okay. A similar, or it looks like, sorry, Cybernetic Score warping up. In the meantime, I like that Gypsy's kind of hanging around near, the, near that natural expansion to go ahead and deny additional base. Dragon not making any moves, it looks like, as far as getting additional gateways, etc. Until he sees what Gypsy's up to. Now sees that natural expansion. Gypsy going ahead and canceling an additional Marine and plopping down that command center. And actually moving out with the two Marines and going to go ahead and try to take down, does take down that initial probe scout, that Zealot backing out. SCV ended up missing the Nexus blockade, but it, so it looks like it's going, it is going to be one gate into Nexus. And we'll see how Gypsy plays from here. Gypsy is in a little bit more of a defensive position to go ahead and deal with this. He's got the refinery playing up. But anyway, so Gypsy sometimes when he is being... Uh, aggressed upon, for lack of a better term, when he's running into the, like, the standard pitfalls of Terran, sometimes lag uh, in, in the midst of Zealot fights. He can, I think sometimes there he can have some trouble. Gypsy popping out those Marines again, trying to hunt that Zealot down. Took a little bit of damage on two of his Marines as a result. Is he gonna actually try to micro this back? Does manage to save that Marine and take the Zealot out, being very aggressive. And with that Zealot down, he's being full on aggressive and actually has a bunker, speaking of aggression, building a bunker at this natural expansion. And I, does Dragon see it? Dragon does see it, but he does not have the units. Wow, doesn't ha only has a Dragoon to try to deal with this. The Marines might be there in position. So Gypsy seeing an opportunity and wanting to seize it. Probe gets annihilated. And here's the thing, four Marines do beat a Dragoon, but these weren't full health Marines. And Dragon doing a great job of picking off the two low health Marines, but that does allow the bunker to get up and now Dragon has a sealed bunker at his natural expansion. Two Dragoons are there. But in the meantime, a bunch of SCVs and additional Marine flooding off the line. And former, this is going to be tough for Dragon to repel. One SCV down. Probes coming off to join the fight. The Dragoons are able to focus fire these Marines. Two of them picked off. And that was a huge shift. One Dragoon down, the second Dragoon pinned into the pylon by those SCVs. It's taken out. One Marine remains. 
with the rest of these probes being blocked off, there is another Dragoon out, the SCV trying to get another bunker down, and now it is Hopscotch for Gypsy, another Marine joining the fray. This Dragoon being pressed out, the probes losing some mining time, trying to attack. It looks like they weren't doing anything there for a moment. Dragon trying to focus and trying to do the damage where he can and also stop this bunker from constructing. It has managed to take out a lot of these SCVs, and it looks like that bunker is going to get canceled. Gypsy looks like the aggression might fail. We'll see. He still has three Marines. One of them is low health. Dragon still might win this fight. A second Dragoon joins the fray. That is not great odds, and Gypsy ends up losing. Some additional troops still pouring on the pressure of Vulture now joining this fight, trying to get up the ramp, wanted to get some additional kills. Still might be able to get a probe, but otherwise now Gypsy in a lot of trouble. Dedicated a lot of SCVs, a lot of units to this, and Dragon has held. He's actually getting a... Oof, I missed this in the midst of all that action. He got a Citadel of a Dune, Templar Archives up, and so now there's a machine shop down. But it basically what Gypsy needs to do is research mines immediately, maybe get an engineering bay up, and any form of detection, really. He needs detection immediately. And unfortunately, even with the mines researching, he's not going to be able to have those mines planted. Oof, sneaking up probes, battle probes off the line. Still only a handful of Dragoons. Gypsy getting the last bit of damage before that Dark Templar really takes over the, the defense on the front. I think this is going to allow Gypsy to see that Shimmer. And this also will buy Gypsy maybe a little bit of time. That Dark Templar just making its way out. The Dragoon can take care of that bunker behind this. But he, yeah, he's going to have to plant mines maybe even inside his own base. There's that engineering bay constructing. But things are looking a little bit dire. And also planting mines in your own base is not where you want to plant them against Dark Templars. Because that is an opportunity to mine drag into your SCV line. Gypsy's already had a bit of trouble with his economy. Although he's ahead in the overall worker count after all those exchanges. Nice pick off by Dragon. Actually, that counts as a kill. Interesting. Able to get that mine. Able to get the second mine. Third mine down. This mine has managed to be planted. Wow, some nice micromanagement from Dragon. And he's going to be able to halt that engineering bay. Absolutely huge. Looks like one mine has been able to... Okay, so one mine landed on that Dark Templar. Another Dark Templar at that natural expansion chasing those SCVs out. And now that engineering bay is finished, but these Dark Templars still stand... And they still need to get missile turrets up just to get detection. And there needs to be units to deal with this. Gypsy is in a lot of trouble. And more Dark Templar. Oh, never mind. That's going to be a probe. Going to go ahead and take a third base for Dragon. Dragon feeling very comfortable with his degree of map control. Especially just, yeah, going up against Vultures and having his Dark Templar. This mine is really scary right now. Potential mine drag. Detection going to be able to push that off. But this Dark Templar already has 14 kills. This Dark Templar with three and counting. Gypsy's got to be frustrated with this because that was a nice opener attack. A nice turnaround from Dragon. Dark Templar trying to mine Drag into those SCVs. It gets taken out. Something going Gypsy's way in that regard where the mine did not blow up on all of the SCVs there. But right now he's sitting at 24 SCVs. His economy has been shattered. A Dark Templar is still in his base. And Dragon is already establishing his third Nexus with a large Dragoon force. And there's still no tanks out on the front. So the second Dark Templar finally taken out. But this is only a Vulture, and this is five Dragoons. Keep in mind, there's nothing in this... Oh, sorry, there's two Marines in this bunker. And right now, Gypsy in tr just at threat. Oh, he's going to lose that Vulture as well. Yeah, there's GG. At threat of getting pinned in his own base. And upon seeing that, he's going to call GG. So exciting match both directions. Again, check these guys out. They have a lot of really great matches. Dragon BW on Twitch. And again, Gypsy at Gypsy93. I will oftentimes, and you can check the users list, oftentimes I am hanging out in that chat, watching, lurking, enjoying the games myself. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Exciting one. Back and forth. Thanks for listening.